it's Mia with the Cozy Bookshop and welcome to a new reading week! Um, confession, it's actually Tuesday, like the 3rd, the 3rd of April. Sorry, it was a holiday weekend and that always kind of throws, throws the rest of my week off. But I'm here for two things. One, I got a package and this has a book in it. So I figure I would open it and share with you guys. There's a couple things in here that aren't books. Okay, and that is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz uh, Zafon. And this is The Cozy Bookshop Reads April Pick. We um, are reading this in April. The Cozy Bookshop Reads Oh gosh, is the book club that I've created. You can search for it on Facebook um, and find the Cozy Bookshop Reads and join. And this is what we're reading in April. I'm really excited about this one. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that. I'll start that after I finish my current read, which is Dust Jacket List. I did think about what the word was, but a Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. I'm on page 157. I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm finding it to be maybe a smidge predictable. I really like the character growth that our character is experiencing. And she's dealing with very... Sarah J. Mass has dealt with very, um, like, coming of age, young adult... Not even young adult. <coughs> Excuse me. She's dealing really well with um, very adult, real-life experiences and topics and doing it in a very mature way. And so I really like that. Um, in particular, the bit that I just read, I felt was very um, mature, you know, handling of a situation. So I will say that the character growth is quite fantastic that I'm seeing so far. It's a, like I said, a smidge predictable. We'll see. I'm still early on into it. So we'll see if that continues to be the case. What I am hoping for is, is to read A Court of Mist and Fort, if Fury, excuse me, then pick up Shadow of the Wind, then pick up A Court of Wings and Ruin, which I think is the next one. And then she's got the fourth book in this series coming out, I think in May. I don't know, don't quote me on that, but the fourth book is coming out really, 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 really soon. So I'm hoping that I can read the third one quickly after this one. So just boom, and then the, the third one, so that when the fourth one comes out, I can actually get it and not be so behind the times. A bee, that would be nice, right? Yeah, I think so. So um, that is my plan right now. I will say, much like the first one, this is very much keeping me reading. Um, so that's really nice. Like it's one of those things where I just wanna like, I don't want to sleep it. Like I just wanna read the book. So I can't read, I have to edit last week's reading vlog because like I said, it was a holiday weekend and holiday weekends always just kinda put me behind the times. Um, and I didn't get anything done this weekend. Sunday was Easter and there's just a whole bunch of other stuff going on. So um, I am going to go edit the reading vlog and get it up for you guys, which you'll have already seen by the time you're watching this, but whatever. And then um, I'm going to take care of my kids and then I'll get to reading at some point tonight. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will check in with you guys tomorrow and let you know where I stand with my progress and if my plan is actually going to work. I think it will. It's only the first week of April. I have like three, let's see, May 1st. Yeah, May 1st. So I think I can read two of these. So I think the other one is the same length. Anyway, two of these and one of these in April. Totally feasible, right? And then after that, I'll get back to picking out a stack of books. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and do that so I can read um, A Court, what is it? A Court of Frost and Starlight when it comes out. We shall see what happens. I've blabbered on for long enough. I will update you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, hi guys, it's Wednesday, the 4th of April. I'm getting ready to do my cozy evening in video, um, which you can always catch those almost every Wednesday around 7.45 Eastern Standard Time. 
Um, it's usually sometime in between 7.30 and 8 on the Cozy Bookshop Facebook page. Um, I've talked about Cozy Evening Inn before, but I'll talk about it right fast. Cozy Evening Inn is an evening where we all just gather in our little online community and take a little break to read, to treat ourselves, to have a nice cup of tea, um, and all that good stuff. So... Like I said, that you can catch that. I always kick it off every Wednesday, sometime in between 7.30 and 8 um, with a Facebook Live and then tell you guys what I'm drinking, what I'm reading, give you guys a little update on life, whatever you want to call it. And it's a good time. So be sure to check that out um, and join in on that because it's fun, I guess. Anyway, I'm... As I said, I'm reading A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm sorry if I seem a little off. I've got a touch of a migraine and I just don't feel good. So, <laughs> um, I'm on page 204 of A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm loving it so far. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. I'm reading it. I'm loving it. I don't want to give any spoilers away. But it's a pretty good book. I'm hoping my predictions are all wrong because that's more fun so anyway i will um update you guys tomorrow with where i'm at and if i have any i'll probably have a better more clear mind in the morning so i can update you guys then hi guys it is thursday um i didn't get a lot of reading done last night i think i mentioned it or maybe i didn't i don't i don't even know anymore i wasn't feeling really well yesterday i got a bit of a migraine last night um, and I just kind of wasn't feeling like myself, feeling good, nothing like that. So I only got to page 237 of A Court of Mist and Fury. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, okay. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really liking it. But there's something about it that is not completely connecting for me. There's something about it that hasn't quite like wowed me and captured my attention there have been bits that I've really really loved um there was a whole scene where she was like maybe this was who I was but it's not who I am anymore and there's like all this stuff that really character development wise that really just amazed me for a book that is targeted to where this book is targeted but it hasn't quite like giving me that like holy smokes I'm loving it don't get me wrong like I'm really enjoying it but I haven't gotten that like oh my gosh like take me away on the river of wonderfulness of everything from this book like I would say I'm at like a three and a half four star right now we'll see what happens it's just not it's not amazing me the first one I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed um and I think I gave that one a 4 out of 5 stars, I think. I'd have to go look. I'm pretty sure. So it's kind of a thing where I'm not like, I enjoy it for what it is. And I'm really like enjoying this one again. But it's like I said, it's not like, oh my gosh, this is the most incredible thing ever. <laughs> Which I didn't really expect. But I did enjoy the first one, I think, maybe a smidge more. We'll see. I don't know. Like I said, I'm still only like 200 something pages in, which is about a third. I think roughly a third of the way into the book. So we shall see. That's my update for now. I don't think I'm going to be finishing this book by the end of this week, but who knows why we got to have that negativity in this, right? Why? Why? <laughs> um. Anyway, that is my update for now. I'm going to go get some reading done um before I have to wake the kids up for food so I'll update you guys tomorrow hi guys it's Mia it's Sunday I'll get to that here in a minute and I am gonna wrap up this week um I know I haven't like vlogged or really done any updates in a couple of days and that is because the past couple of days have just been kind of a whirlwind we had um, a couple of unexpected things pop up over our weekend. Nothing bad, nothing serious, but like little things that made it hard to read and film like I wanted to this weekend. So there you go. Um, 
we're actually right now we're getting ready we're gonna be heading out for our family pictures <laughs> so i yeah it's just been crazy i have gotten um a little bit of reading done i've been staying up a little bit later to read because i've been really enjoying this and i'm on like page 500 of a court of mist and fury and i have to say i am enjoying this book and i'm loving i'm loving all of the character development that we're getting but i think we're getting a little too much of the same character development like i kind of want to shake the main character and be like enough already like enough we get it let's go like continue it on i get that everyone like she's going through a journey and i love that the character is so real and so relatable and i love that she's going through like a lot of character development don't get me wrong i love it but at the same time i'm kind of like okay like if this were my friend in real life i'd be like shut up i got it next like let's move on this is this is what and i don't want to say like anything else because i feel like it's gonna be spoilery but i kind of want to be like enough just just get on with it um but on the whole i really really am enjoying it i'm gonna finish this book within the next couple days so stay tuned to next week's reading vlog to see what i plan to pick up next because i'm gonna finish it probably like monday or tuesday i would say I'll finish it um I'm gonna make that prediction now Monday or Tuesday stay tuned to next week see if I'm right um and that's kind of where I'm at with it right now we'll see we'll see where it goes like and and they're different I should say like they're different a court of thorns and roses and a court of mist and fury like they're in the same series and you're following the same characters but they're on completely different levels 100% and that is something I'm actually really enjoying that but in the same way that I kind of got irritated with the Court of Thorns and Roses, I'm getting irritated with the Court of Mist and Fury. So we shall just see. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm sorry. I know the TV's on, so it's probably making me difficult to hear. But sorry. It's NASCAR race day. That's all I can say about that one. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this week. I know it was a little spotty and kind of um, not a lot to it. But I will check in with you guys next.